Hey guys, Bill, the Kansas Flamingo Chef and Panther. Well, well, he doesn't want to make drinks. Welcome back to my bar for another edition of Flock Tales. Today is actually May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. So I'm going to make tiki drinks, mainly because I just don't feel like a margarita at the moment. One of the original tiki drinks is called the Zombie. Now there have been countless variations over, over the years. This happens to be my favorite. We're going to start with a shaker full of ice. Well, not full of ice, but it has ice in it. And some bitters. Some Agostano bitters, right? Just your regular bitters you'd use like in a Manhattan or a, uh, an old-fashioned. We're going to do about uh, just one good dash of the bitters. So this is Jack Ruby Cocktail Demerara Syrup. I've got my hand right over the top. Uh, this is like some of the sweetest stuff on the planet, but it's just absolutely vital to a, a good zombie. You need a, about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. So what I do is take my bar spoon and just kind of let it overflow. Now I cut up a couple of limes, and I'm going to juice them here in my uh, antique juicer. I actually found this at an estate sale one day. What a find is we're going to need about a full ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And this thing will get the job done. After juicing, I'm just going to take this little thing out here. And I need an ounce. There we go. I did the same thing with a lemon for one ounce of lemon juice. I've got an ounce of pineapple juice. For a zombie, you need passion fruit. Now, you can use passion fruit juice. You could use passion fruit syrup. I personally prefer this passion fruit puree uh, from Real. And you need about an ounce of this, too. If you haven't noticed yet, one great thing about this, with the exception of the Demerara syrup, everything's about an ounce. So we need an ounce of light rum. And an ounce of aged rum. Finally, a zombie is not for the weak of heart. This is overproof rum. The stuff is 69% alcohol. And you'll know when it's there. You need about an ounce of this as well. You need to shake this one. Traditionally, you would garnish this with an orange wheel, but I like a chunk of pineapple just because I think it looks nice and a straw. So all we're going to do is strain this directly into the glass. And there you have it, a zombie. As always, if there's something you'd like me to make, if you'd like me to make a drink or food, whatever, shoot me an email, bill at kansasflamingochef.com. Drink and eat fabulous. Zombie. Remember, like, share, and subscribe.